Hello and welcome. The zones group in the physics tab includes the cell zones, boundaries and profiles menus. Using these three options, the user can assign properties to cell zones, assign boundary conditions to various surfaces of the model and even load profiles for defining the cell zone and boundary conditions. In this lesson, we will learn about cell zones, their types and the ways to define cell zone conditions. We will also briefly discuss about the profiles option. Let's get started. The cell zones menu allows us to assign materials to volumes or zones in our computational model. Consider a simple 3D mesh. The mesh consists of several finite volumes which are called cells. Fluent keeps track of grid and solution data by grouping these cells into one or more cell zones. Cell zone conditions need to be applied to all cell zones. Let's look at how to do this. Launch ANSYS Fluent in solution mode. Go to file, read, case and load the provided case file. Once the case file is loaded, go to the zones group in the physics tab in the ribbon and click on cell zones to open the cell zone conditions task page. The cell zone conditions task page has options to display the zones in list view or group them by name or zone type. Let's group them by zone type. Cell zone conditions can be copied by clicking on the copy button. Note that this only works between cell zones of the same type. Fluent categorizes cell zones as being either solid or fluid. When a cell zone is defined as a fluid, equations related to flow, energy, turbulence and so on are solved in the zone. If a cell is defined as a solid zone, Fluent only solves the energy equation in the zone. You can change the type of a zone to solid or fluid by selecting the appropriate cell zone from the type drop down menu in the cell zone conditions task page. You can open a cell zone panel by selecting the zone and using the edit button or just by double clicking the zone. Cell zone panel can also be accessed from the outline view just by right clicking on a zone and selecting edit from the context menu. In the cell zone panel, you can define the material assigned to the zone, add source terms, establish a porous zone. You can also set inputs for rotating machinery, specify fixed values if required and so on. A detailed discussion on these various options is beyond the scope of this lesson. The name of the cell zone is originally defined during the mesh generation process and if required you can change it from the cell zone panel. It is also possible to change the name without opening the panel. For that, click once on the cell zone in the outline view, pause briefly and then click a second time. Here. Let's keep the names fluid and solid as it is. In this demo, the materials used are water and steel. They are already defined using the materials group and in the cell zones panel, we only assign these materials to appropriate cell zones. Open cell zones panel for fluid zone by double clicking on fluid in the task page. The default material for a fluid zone is air. To change this, click on the drop down next to the material name and select liquid water. This informs ANSYS Fluent to use the properties of water whenever required when solving the flow and heat transfer equations in the fluid zone. Click apply and then close the panel. Similarly, 
Open the cell zone panel for solid zone by double clicking on solid in the task page. The default material for a solid zone is aluminum. Let's now change this to steel. This informs ANSYS Fluent to use the properties of steel whenever required when solving the energy equation in the solid zone. Click apply and then close the cell zone panel. Please refer to the ANSYS Fluent user's guide for more information regarding the various options in the cell zones menu. Let's now move to the profiles panel which can be accessed by clicking on profiles in the zones group of the physics tab in the ribbon. The profiles panel can also be accessed from the cell zone conditions task page. Profiles allows you to specify spatially or time varying cell zone conditions and boundary conditions extracted from experimental data, data calculated by an external program, or data written from a previous solution. Here, you can read, write, delete, orient, or replicate a profile just by clicking on the respective buttons. For further information regarding profiles, please refer to the ANSYS Fluent User's Guide. Let's summarize what we learnt in this video. We discussed what cell zones are and the need to define cell zone conditions. We learnt how to access the cell zone panel, how to change the cell zone material, its name and type. Lastly, we also briefly touched on the profiles option available in the zones section of the physics tab. With this, let's wrap up the lesson.